lanternfish, the flashlight of the abyss. If the deep sea had streetlights, they'd be made of lanternfish. These tiny, silver-scaled swimmers are the unsung stars of the ocean's midnight zone, literally. Covering nearly 65% of all deep-sea fish biomass, lanternfish are nature's disco balls, covered in photophores, light-producing organs that twinkle in perfect patterns. To us, it's mesmerizing. To them, it's life or death. Lanternfish use their light for everything, camouflage, communication, and romance. By glowing on their bellies, they perform counter-illumination, matching the faint light filtering from above so predators below can't see their silhouette. It's stealth by sparkle, and every night, billions of lanternfish migrate upward from the depths to feed, the largest migration on Earth. Imagine the entire ocean shimmering as an army of tiny headlights ascends through the dark. It's beautiful, eerie, and unseen by human eyes. They even have synchronized glow patterns by species, turning entire swarms into floating constellations. NASA once joked that if the ocean were drained, the glowing trails of lanternfish would look like the Milky Way flipped upside down. They're small. But without them, the deep ocean would go dark, literally and ecologically. The lanternfish proves that in the deep sea, the best camouflage might just be shining your light. Vampire Squid, the Demon That Glows The name Vampire Squid from Hell sounds like a B-horror movie, but this little cephalopod is more shy bioluminescent wizard than monster. Living 3,000 feet below the surface, where sunlight doesn't exist, it drifts through the blackness wrapped in a cloak-like membrane. And when it feels threatened, it glows. The vampire squid's body is covered in photophores that flash blue and white light. When attacked, it performs the squid lantern defense, pulsing in rhythmic patterns that confuse predators. If that fails, it inverts its cloak, hiding its glowing organs and exposing the dark underside, the deep-sea version of throwing a cape over your face. But here's the twist. It's not actually a vampire. It doesn't even hunt living prey. Instead, it eats marine snow, the soft rain of decaying organic matter falling from above. A glowing goth that lives on corpse dust? That's some Tim Burton energy. Its name comes from its blood-red eyes and velvety color, but this squid's genius lies in its glowing misdirection. When the ocean turns hostile, it becomes a floating rave of mischief. Light, dark, light, gone. A ghost in the abyss, dazzling its predators with the universe's oldest magic trick, light in the dark. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Black Dragonfish, the glow-in-the-dark monster. The Black Dragonfish looks like it crawled straight out of a deep-sea horror movie. Long, snake-like, and armed with needle teeth. But the real nightmare? It makes its own light, including red light. Most deep sea creatures can only produce or see blue and green light because those wavelengths travel furthest underwater. The dragonfish breaks that rule. It evolved a unique chemical system that lets it glow red, an invisible wavelength to most other animals. It's basically using night vision goggles in reverse, shining red beams only it can see, turning the ocean into its private hunting ground. This deadly stealth tech lets it spot prey without being seen, the deep-sea equivalent of using infrared goggles to stalk a buffet. Females grow up to 40 centimeters long, males only 5. Evolution clearly picked favorites. And get this, their stomachs are transparent, so when they swallow glowing prey, the light doesn't give them away. It's like eating glow sticks but making sure your stomach doesn't glow after. The black dragonfish isn't just weird, it's tactical genius. A ghost predator that hunts with invisible light, blending terror and beauty in a single flicker.
luciferin-fueled jelly, the Lucy Hortica Lou. Few names sound as whimsical or mysterious as Lucy Hortica Lou, the shorthand for a jellyfish species that turns its entire body into a pulsing light show. This creature uses luciferin, a light-producing molecule shared by many glowing animals, and it's what gives fireflies and deep-sea creatures their glow. But Lucy Hortica Lou, a name used to refer to the Atola genus jelly, doesn't just glow. It performs a full strobe show. When attacked, it releases pulses of light in a circular pattern that spirals out like a bioluminescent SOS signal. Scientists call this the burglar alarm effect. The idea is simple. When a predator attacks the jelly, it lights up to attract bigger predators. Like yelling, hey everyone, free snack over here. It's the deep sea version of calling in an airstrike on your attacker. The glow lasts long after the jelly has drifted away, leaving the confused predator caught in the spotlight. In essence, Lucy Hortica Lou isn't just glowing for beauty, it's weaponized light, survival through spectacle. The next time you see a glowing jellyfish, remember, it's not showing off. It's fighting for its life in the prettiest way possible. Deep Sea Anglerfish, the original nightlight predator. The deep sea anglerfish is a living paradox, horrifyingly ugly but evolutionarily brilliant. It's famous for that glowing lure, a bioluminescent orb dangling from its forehead like an alien fishing rod. But that glow isn't from the fish itself. It's powered by symbiotic bacteria living inside the lure, which produce light in exchange for nutrients. In the endless dark of the abyss, this lure is irresistible. Curious prey approach, thinking it's food, then snap, dinner. Females are the hunters here. Males are tiny parasitic freeloaders that fuse into her body, providing sperm on demand. Romantic, right? The light is created through luciferase, an enzyme that interacts with oxygen to emit a cold glow. No heat, no waste. The result? An organic flashlight that's been burning for 130 million years. Scientists still don't know exactly how anglerfish acquired their glowing bacteria. They're not inherited, meaning each fish must somehow catch them anew during its lifetime. It's evolution's weirdest tinder match. A fish and a bacterium that make each other shine. The anglerfish doesn't just live in the dark. It owns it. Proof that even in the blackest depths, a little light can be deadly. Firefly, the backyard alchemist. The firefly might seem ordinary, but its biochemistry is extraordinary. That little flicker you see on summer nights? It's pure chemistry, luciferin and luciferase, combining with oxygen and magnesium to create cold, green-yellow light. No heat, no energy loss. If humans could do this efficiently, we'd never pay for electricity again. Fireflies use their light for one main purpose, love. Each species has its own flashing rhythm, a language of light signals to attract mates. Some males even mimic other species' flashes to lure females closer, only for those females to eat them instead. Love hurts, and sometimes it glows. And get this, one species, Photinus pyrolus, uses its glow to warn predators that it tastes horrible, a trick borrowed by toxic frogs and caterpillars. That's right, fireflies are both poets and scam artists. Across cultures, they've symbolized souls, fairies, or sparks of life, but scientifically, they represent efficiency, the pinnacle of biological light. Fireflies prove that even the most delicate beauty can have evolutionary bite. Fire Beetle, the Eternal Glower If fireflies are flickering poets, fire beetles are industrial-grade lanterns. Their light organs glow continuously, not in pulses, thanks to specialized photocytes that emit steady bioluminescence. They don't flash to flirt, they glow to warn. Found mostly in tropical forests, these beetles use light to signal toxicity. Predators learned quickly, Glowing beetle equals bad taste. 
Some species even emit infrared light, invisible to us, but bright in the insect world. Unlike fireflies, fire beetles glow from their thorax and abdomen simultaneously, creating the illusion of headlights, hence their nickname, headlight beetles. Ancient explorers reportedly used jars of them as natural lamps, though that might be more legend than fact. The bioluminescent reaction inside them, luciferin and luciferase, again, is so efficient that scientists have studied it for medical imaging and diagnostics. The fire beetle is nature's glow stick that never goes out, a steady reminder that light can mean love, warning, or, in this case, don't eat me or you'll regret it. Railroad worm, the neon caterpillar. Nature occasionally builds something so ridiculous it looks cyberpunk. Meet the railroad worm, a beetle larva covered in glowing spots that run down its sides, green on the body, red on the head, making it look like a tiny train lit up at night. The secret weapon? It can produce two colors of light at once, something almost no other bioluminescent animal can do. Each light is controlled independently, so it can flash its head red while keeping its sides green, confusing predators. Scientists call this the dual wavelength defense. I call it mood lighting. The red light is especially weird because few animals can even see it, meaning the worm can signal secretly to its own kind while staying invisible to others. It lives underground or under bark, glowing faintly until it matures into a dull adult beetle that can't glow at all. Imagine being born as a living neon sign only to turn into a boring insect. Evolution giveth and taketh away. Green Bomber Worm, the Deep Sea's Glitter Grenade. If the Dagalich shrimp throws flashbangs, the Green Bomber Worm drops glowing grenades. Found in deep Pacific waters, this marine worm defends itself by releasing glowing green spheres that float upward like drifting Christmas ornaments. Each one glows for minutes distracting predators while the worm escapes. These light bombs are actually modified gill structures, detachable organs designed purely for bioluminescent defense. When threatened, the worm contracts its body, launching the spheres like glowing ink. It's one of the few examples of a creature weaponizing detachable body parts that double as glow bombs. Deep sea scientists adore them. They look like the ocean's version of fairy dust. In a realm of perpetual blackness, the green bomber worm uses art as armor. It proves that bioluminescence isn't just communication, it's choreography, a literal performance of survival. Jellyfish, the eternal glow of the ocean. The jellyfish is evolution's screensaver, simple, hypnotic, and glowing. Species like Equaria victoria are famous for producing green fluorescent protein, G who FP, the same molecule that revolutionized modern biology. Scientists use it to make glowing cells, fluorescent mice, even to track cancer growth. But in the wild, bioluminescent jellyfish use light for everything from defense to communication. Some pulse in waves, others burst in sudden flashes to startle predators. The process is elegantly simple. Calcium ions trigger a chemical reaction involving luciferin, luciferase, and the protein acrin, releasing blue or green light. It's one of the most efficient energy conversions in nature. To predators, a jellyfish's flash might mean, don't eat me. To humans, it means Nobel Prizes. The same jellyfish drifting through the dark sea helped unlock the glowing secrets of life itself. Evolution's most alien creature ended up illuminating our own biology. Moxia, the living spark. The moxia, a deep sea amphipod, is one of the smallest bioluminescent crustaceans ever found, and arguably one of the strangest. Barely a centimeter long, it glows so brightly when disturbed that it can light up an entire petri dish. The glow comes from luciferin based reactions, but here's the twist it can control where the light appears. When attacked, moxia directs its glow from specific body segments, creating the illusion of motion, 
or multiple individuals. Think of it as the ocean's first hologram projector. The ability to move its light points independently makes it nearly impossible for predators to tell which part is real. In short, Moxie is a creature that outsmarts death with light choreography. Scientists studying it have compared its survival tactics to fighter jets deploying flares. The difference? Moxia does it on instinct and in total darkness. It's fragile, elusive, and beautiful. Proof that size doesn't matter when your entire body can become a weaponized light show. Fungi, the glowing forest ghosts. It's not just animals that glow, mushrooms do too. Over 80 species of fungi emit a soft green light, especially in tropical rainforests. This glow, called foxfire, has been described since ancient times. Aristotle himself wrote about glowing wood in the 4th century BCE. The reason? It's still debated. Some scientists think the light attracts insects that help spread spores. Others think it's just a byproduct of metabolism. Either way, the glow comes from a Lucifer and Luciferase system similar to fireflies. In pitch dark forests, the sight is haunting. Logs dotted with eerie green light like fallen stars. During wartime, soldiers in the trenches use glowing fungi to read maps, calling it foxfire lanterns. Nature's oldest bioluminescence might not live in the ocean, but in the woods. A reminder that light has always been life's most universal language. Black Belly Lantern Shark, the glowing predator. The Black Belly Lantern Shark might be small, but it's armed with stealth technology that would make the military jealous. This shark glows from its belly using thousands of photophores, creating an effect called counter-illumination camouflage. In the dim light of the deep sea, shadows can give predators away. By glowing just enough to match the faint light above, the lantern shark erases its outline completely. Prey, looking up, see nothing but empty water. It's the aquatic equivalent of an invisibility cloak. But the shark doesn't stop there. It also uses light to communicate. Specific glow patterns may help individuals identify one another in the darkness. Some species even glow differently depending on sex. It's eerie, precise, and efficient. The shark doesn't chase. It ambushes from invisibility. Evolution designed it like a living stealth bomber, glowing just enough to disappear. The black belly lantern shark proves that in the deep, the only way to survive the dark is to master it. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.